horses and acted as bullhorns. Then I made them bigger. <laughs> then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Okay. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it? Ethics or uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Doctor Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Hmm. Yeah, ask, ask him why. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. Or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several plan nines in case the sevens fail. Damn. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros. Klein, they have all forgotten themselves, and not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. Damn. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. <laughs> well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, <laughs> then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host.
There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. <laughs> you were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Huh. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mm, Mentats. <laughs> Come on, keep focused here, dude. Event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. <laughs> but it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Okay. Oh no, I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. What? Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. Yeah. Okay, uh... Okay, come on, come on. Now, that seems to be right. Your brain is here. Do you? And does it even want to go back with you? Tell come on, what, come on. I'll leave it up to your brain if it wants. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, brain. Wait. Hey, it's the brain. Alright, well, we're gonna... I know this is right at the end, but I actually have to get going. I didn't know this was gonna take so long, so we'll be back in just a bit.